So Google Messages is one of the most popular messaging applications out there. And I'll go and show you exactly how to use this particular app. There's not really anything insane. You know, I'm sure most of you already know this type of application, but this is what the application looks like. It's just a stock messaging app. So as soon as you open it up, you will have all these different chats right here. You'll have this Google messaging board up here. And then other than that is a pretty basic layout. You know, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this before. Now, at the very top, there's a few things. So depending on the top, what you're looking at, you have the Google messages little tab at the very top, but you also have a search bar. This search bar will allow you to quickly go ahead and kind of skim through all your messages. If you're searching for a particular message, if somebody's texted you something a while ago and you want to find it again, if you can kind of remember the details, you can type it in and you'll be able to see it. You can also filter out quickly between images, videos, places, starred, known, unread. So you can go through and kind of specify those things and kind of modify all those things right there. Hopping back out, you'll have this profile icon in the top right. So you can go through, click on the profile icon on the top right up there, and you can get access to your whole entire Google account. So you can go through and see your profile, your device pairing, your data, a lot of other information here too. So you can go through and kind of modify and kind of change around all this type of information right there. And that right there is another really cool thing that you can go through and kind of modify as well. Hopping back out of here, if you go ahead and look, you'll see you have your messages here. Now, if you don't have any messages yet, what you can also do is you can also just, you know, click on the bottom right here. But if you do have messages, you can tap on them. But if you don't, you'll see two tabs at the bottom. You'll see the chat icon, which will allow you to create new messages. And then you'll see this Gemini icon. Clicking on Gemini, it will automatically open up Gemini inside of Google Messages. So what you can do is you can use Gemini inside of Google Messages and you can start texting Gemini directly. So you can start asking it questions and it'll ask you back similar to ChatGPT. And that in and of itself is a really cool thing that you have the option of doing. Now, if you wanna jump straight into messaging somebody, you can tap under this messaging icon here. It will go ahead and open up some of your contacts here. So if you can type in their phone number or their you know, name and their contacts, you can add them right here and you can go ahead and start messaging them within this panel in and of itself, which again is another really cool thing you can do. Now, once you go and create a message, this is what the messaging application portion will look like. So you can text them, you can tap on the box in the bottom. I know you have a SIM card, but you can text, tap on the box in the bottom and you can start texting them. If you want to, you can send photos and videos and all those things within the texting panel at the bottom. You'll have two different tabs at the top. So you'll have their contact information here, which you can tap on and you'll be able to see their information and more info here. You can also go through and call them if you want to directly call them. You can call them right here and it'll open up their phone call app and you can start calling them directly from this page. And then you have the three dots right up there too. You can tap on those three dots and you can see that you can add people in this con in this conversation. You can see more details. You can store this message. You can search through this message. You can archive it. You can delete this message. You can block and report this person and you can even get help and feedback there. So those, you know, that's kind of the main way to go and basically use uh, Google Messages. It's a pretty basic type of application. That's really all you need to know. And you'll just learn more as you kind of end up using it. So that's basically how you use Google Messages. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.